Do you feel like you don't speak enough Turkish? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. Şehrin güneyine. You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Sekizinci sıra C koltuğu. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Resmi tatiller her ayın üçüncü pazar günü. You are at a bus stop where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. 301 numaralı otobüs bu durakta durmamaktadır. You just got off a bus at a bus terminal and you're looking to catch a taxi. Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank?
Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? You should head east to get to the taxi rank. You just got a text message from your hotel's pickup service. What does the first number refer to? What does the first number refer to? The number in the text message refers to the customer code. Müşteri numarası. You're checking out the hotel's facilities when you see a notice on a door. What does the notice mean? What does the notice mean? The notice reads, do not enter. Girmek yasaktır. You search online for the nearest bus service. What bus service does the page show? What bus service does the page show? The web page shows a free bus service. Ücretsiz otobüs servisi. You're about to enter a small shop, but there's a handwritten note on the door. What does the message on the note mean? What does the message on the note mean? The note reads, I'll be right back. Hemen döneceğim. There's a national holiday coming up, and you notice that shops have special notices about having different opening hours. From when will the opening hours return to normal? From when will the opening hours return to normal?
The notice says that the opening hours will be back to normal on January 7th. 7 Ocak Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. You are sitting on a bus that is about to arrive at the next bus stop. Suddenly, a signal lights up. What does the signal mean? What does the signal mean? The signal reads, please stay seated until the bus stops. Otobüs durana kadar lütfen koltuğunuzdan kalkmayınız. You've lost your wallet while riding on a bus. Hoping to get your wallet back, you go to look at a city map to try and locate the lost and found office of the bus company. Where is the lost and found office located? Where is the lost and found office located? The lost and found office is located on the south side of the city, number 12 on the map. Haritada 12 numaralı nokta. You are at a bus terminal where you stumble across a notice at one of the stops. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, this bus route is no longer in service. Bu otobüs hattı artık hizmet vermemektedir. You are at a bus terminal where you stumble across a notice at one of the stops. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, this bus route will not run on New Year's Day. Bu otobüs hattı yılbaşında çalışmayacaktır. You've just gotten off a bus at a bus terminal. Suddenly, a person hands you a leaflet. What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet?
What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet? The offer is buy two, get one free. İki alana bir adet bedava. You're about to have lunch in a local restaurant. What's included with the main course? What's included with the main course? The sign says, one drink and a dessert are included. Bir adet içecek ve tatlı dahildir. You are about to order your lunch and you're interested in the lunch menu. What does the lunch menu say? What does the lunch menu say? The lunch menu says that today's special is spicy chicken with grilled vegetables. Günün menüsü: baharatlı tavuk, ızgara sebzeler. There's a notice at the bottom of the lunch menu. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice says that the beverages from the drink menu are not included. Ücrete dahil değildir. İçecekler menüsünden bir içecek. You're finished with your meal and you're looking at the dessert menu. What kinds of drinks can you choose with the confectionery? What kinds of drinks can you choose with the confectionery? The menu shows that you can choose from coffee or tea. Türk kahvesi, çay. You just had lunch, paid and received your receipt. What is marked with a circle?
What is marked with a circle? The receipt tells you the subtotal and the grand total. Ara toplam, genel toplam. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. You just gotten off a plane and are walking through the bus terminal of the airport. There's a stall where you can exchange money at the bus terminal. You attempt to do so, but the staff member first hands you a form to fill out instead. What information do you need to fill out to complete the form? What information do you need to fill out to complete the form? The form states that you need to fill out your name, the date, the currency, the amount, and sign your signature. Adınızı, tarihi, para birimini Miktarı, imzanızı. You are at a bus terminal where you've been waiting for your bus. It appears to be running late. Suddenly, you notice a note posted next to the bus stop. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The note reads, Bus services on this route have been cancelled for today due to poor weather conditions. We apologize for the inconvenience. Kötü hava koşullarından ötürü bu güzergahtaki otobüs hizmetleri bugün için durdurulmuştur. Oluşabilecek rahatsızlıklar için özür dileriz. You are at a bus terminal where you're trying to buy a bus ticket from a ticket counter. A special notice is posted at the counter. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice says that the ticket counter is closed until 2 p.m. and that you should go to the counter in row B instead. Bilet gişesi saat 2'ye kadar kapalıdır. B sırasındaki gişeye gidiniz. You've just arrived at your destination and you're attempting to exit the bus terminal. Unfortunately, the road you usually take is under construction. A signboard is posted informing you of another route. How should you proceed?
How should you proceed? The sign tells you to go in the opposite direction, take the stairs to the underground, and to use the underpass to cross. Ters yöne gitmek için merdivenle yeraltı geçidine ininiz ve karşıya geçmek için geçidi kullanınız. You are at a bus terminal reading a leaflet someone gave to you. The leaflet is advertising a new shopping center that just opened. How do you get to the new shopping center? How do you get to the new shopping center? The leaflet says that you can use the 301 bus or 303 bus if it's a Sunday to get to the new shopping center. 301 numaralı veya pazar günlerinde 303 numaralı otobüsü kullanabileceğin You're reading an event guide and are going to see an upcoming art event. What does the guide say about bringing food to the event? What does the guide say about bringing food to the event? The description reads that if you bring your own food or drinks, they will be confiscated. Dışarıdan getirilen yiyecek ve içeceklere el konulacaktır. You're planning to buy an instant meal. How much water do you add and what do you do once it's added? How much water do you add and what do you do once it's added? You add 100 cc's of boiling water, wait 3 to 5 minutes, then stir the contents. 100 cc kaynar suyu ekleyin. 3-5 dakika bekleyip karıştırın. You're at the clothing store and want to try on a few shirts. How many items are allowed in the fitting room?
How many items are allowed in the fitting room? The notice says that a maximum of three items per customer are permitted inside the fitting room. Deneme kabinlerine en fazla üç eşya ile girebilirsiniz. After paying for your shirt, you notice the return policy is printed on the receipt. What items are excluded from the return policy? What items are excluded from the return policy? The sentence means, please note that all sale items are excluded from this policy and are non-returnable. Lütfen indirimli ürünlerin tüm bu kurallardan muaf olduğunu ve iade edilemeyecek olduğunu unutmayın. With your receipt, you also received a coupon. Where do you have to present the coupon? Where do you have to present the coupon? It says, present this coupon at the counter at the time of purchase to receive a 20% discount off all items. Bu kuponu Satın alma sırasında kasiyere vererek tüm ürünlerden yüzde yirmi indirim alınız. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. You are at a bus terminal where you're heading to a special hotel to check in for the first time. According to an email you received, what are the things that you need to provide to the staff at this special hotel? According to an email you received, what are the things that you need to provide to the staff at this special hotel? The email says that you need to provide your confirmation number and your passport details. Onay kodu, pasaport bilgileri. You are at a bus terminal where you are waiting for your bus. There's a notice posted at the bus stop about a new bus route that will be introduced next year. What is the main advantage of this new bus route?
What is the main advantage of this new bus route? The introduction of the new bus eases congestion for each bus on the 301 route. Yeni otobüs, 301 numaralı güzergahtaki her otobüsün doluluk oranını azaltıyor. You just got off a bus at the closest stop to your friend's new house, where he's invited you to a party. Which direction should you head to get to your friend's new house? Which direction should you head to get to your friend's new house? Although the East Road would have normally been the closest road, it's currently under construction, so you should take the South Road instead. Güney yolunu tercih et. You are at a bus terminal where you're heading to the police office to retrieve a lost passport. According to a postcard you received from the police office, what are the things that you need to provide to the police? What are the things that you need to provide to the police? The postcard says that you need to present proof of identification and to pay a small fee. Kimlik bilgileri, cüzi bir bedel. You are exiting a bus terminal when a big notice posted on the bus stop catches your attention. The notice highlights permanent changes made to the bus schedule. How will buses on Fridays be affected? How will buses on Fridays be affected?
Buses on Fridays will now start at 6 a.m. and will end at 1 a.m. Sabah 6'da başlayacak ve gece 1'de bitecek. Suddenly you get bad abdominal pain and decide to buy some medicine. What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? The label says that daily dosage, two pills per day after eating, Günlük doz, yemeklerden sonra günde iki hap. Your condition is not getting better, and you decide to go to the nearby clinic. You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? The diagnosis is Food poisoning caused by contaminated food. Bozulmuş yiyecekten kaynaklı gıda zehirlenmesi. You just bought a few items from a local shop online. What information does the website say about the delivery date? What information does the website say about the delivery date? The website says that 
Delivery dates differ depending on the delivery method, but all dates should be calculated from the next working day. Teslim tarihleri seçilen teslimat yöntemine göre değişir. Ama tüm teslimat zamanları siparişin ardındaki iş gününden hesaplanmalıdır. The day after ordering an item online, you receive an email notification. How can you track your package? How can you track your package? The email says that you can track your package on this website by logging into your account, and after logging in, click on your order history and enter the order number found in this email. Hesabınıza giriş yaparak sipariş durumunuzu sitemizden takip edebilirsiniz. Giriş yaptıktan sonra sipariş detayına tıklayın ve bu e-postada verilen sipariş takip numarasını girin. You're reading the instructions of an electronic device you've just bought. What should you do in case of overheating? What should you do in case of overheating? The manual says that if you notice the surface overheating, Unplug the device immediately and allow it to cool down before handling again. Eğer yüzeyin aşırı ısındığını fark ederseniz, cihazı hemen fişten çekin ve tekrar kullanmadan önce soğumasını bekleyin. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.